It's Jennifer with Underway Drifting and Dreaming. Welcome back as Jim and I are on the Great Loop Adventure on a 48-foot Katie Krogan, the metal vessel, Cetus. We are heading into Michigan City, Indiana, which is the southern part of Lake Michigan, and we are anchored in the harbor. So we had arrived the day before, about two, right before uh, was forecasted for seven to 10-foot waves and we tied up at the wall. Well, midnight hit and I couldn't sleep any longer with the swells coming in to the river. The sailboat in front of us left at midnight because they just couldn't take the boat hitting the wall anymore. About two o'clock in the morning, I tried to help the sailboat behind us with their lines. They were just getting banged into the wall and about 2.30, it was our time. Um, we tried to add more lines, add more fenders, and right here at this wall. And the swells were coming in offshore. So Jim decided, it was about 3.30, 4 o'clock in the morning, that we were going to leave the wall. The sailboat behind us, called His Hand, he went ahead and threw off our lines one by one so we wouldn't bang into the wall and damage the boat. We did leave a fender and a line and we went out and sat in the harbor. I talked Jim into going into the marina to see if we could just tie up at the fuel dock. It's still dark. We go into the marina and the fuel dock was not big enough for us. I'm not sure how Jim was able to turn around on the boat but I was working out on the deck um, rigging lines, rigging fenders and we came back and sat in the harbor and I just said can we wait until first light we had about 30 minutes to go before we put the anchor down we both had our life jackets on our headsets so we communicated effectively and as soon as the first light we did put down the anchor line we never moved it was a sandy bottom and Jim took the first anchor watch, which allowed me to sleep about 45 minutes. I woke up and we switched out and we sat until we were able to get a hold of the marina and a slip assignment. The weather calmed down for the day so we were able to get into the marina about 11 o'clock we backed in and later that night we knew that the seas and the winds were going to kick up again to about 30 knots we tied the boat up doubled up the lines had spring lines off the back put in our big battle fenders and every fender we had was over the side keeping us so the boat wouldn't be damaged on the dock but we were safe. We heard the, the boats over at Hammond Marina were getting hammered at the dock because of the north winds were blowing and the seas were so high. The Michigan City Marina was huge. There was plenty of room for us. We were right off the river and on the other side of the dune was Lake Michigan. We had beautiful sunsets and sunrises. The sunset, you could look across the lake and see Chicago the skyline. The town had a very nice beach, outlet malls, zoo, a lighthouse that you could go for a tour on. It was just a nice resort area. It had a nuclear power plant. It is time for us to take down the mast so we can fit underneath the 20-foot clearance of a bridge. And it takes longer to prep everything to take the mast down, take the boom down. We have to set up all the lines. Here I am 
have a line attached to the mast and we're going to use the anchor windlass to lower the mast and this is usually my job jim and i are going to switch it up today and so i was just getting things ready for him to take over i'm going to walk back and guide the mast into the cradle at the back of the boat so we have all the lines rigged the mast is ready to come down and at the end i'll go ahead and put the video up of how we put the mast down so it, it just takes a lot of time rigging it only takes probably about 30 seconds for that mast to come down once we're all rigged using the anchor windlass and you can see that ladder up there shortly after putting down the mast the next thing we know there's a 55 foot Katie Krogan expedition coming in, and this is Jim's dream boat. He was just head over heels for it. We're getting ready to leave the Washington Park Marine Port Authority in Michigan City. And this was a safe haven for us for the week. So it's time to start taking all the extra lines off. So we had put these extra lines on. We were getting 30 plus knot winds. So I'll get those done before we even get ready to get underway. Boaters are coming in to pump off. So they're just gonna walk around and make sure everything's off. A, a mink or a something on that wall it's not it's not a weasel it's a otter maybe I don't know what it is it's not a cat you know I always think they're cats so on Navionics you can see that we're heading straight across just below Chicago I saw the Chicago skyline oh where'd it go it's too hazy to see it right now. We're in 56 feet of water and just that's our PMs. About 1675. We're going a little bit slower. We're going to follow the Katie program that's in front of us. We're traveling with them today. Jim just opened the engine room. He's checking on things. We changed out the impeller on the raw, raw water system. So we have the Olympia ahead of us, up north behind us. Like there's a Coast Guard 29 footer out here, or he's not moving. So you can see the speeds. Olympia's going 6.8 or 0.2 nautical miles in front of us and bearing 283. We're almost due west. And I'm not sure why we can see Chicago from the dock. So I'm just taking over shortly for Jim so he can go down and check the systems out. We are on autopilot. Um, it's basically it's heading hold, so it's holding our heading. Uh, here you can see those boats I just mentioned in front of us. Up north is behind us, and you can see it here on the chart plotter. These waves should calm down by I guess about five or six tonight for predicting. But it's nothing like it was. It was seven to eight. I think on the other day it was we were forecasting seven to ten. And we just stayed in the marina. We were safe. And Jim is coming up the elevator. We got a little snack. Alright, so the boat's still in front of us, the boat's still behind us. Professional Olympia is 
see this, uh, switch 17. Going to 17. Let's see this. Jim, I'm going to slow down a little bit, uh, probably to about five and a half knots. You're welcome to pass me, and we'll follow you for a while if you like. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, we'll maintain this uh, course off your port side. Okay, swell, sir. Uh, your your save lighters uh, are definitely working better than mine. I'm rolling a little bit. That's one of the reasons I'm slowing down. I'm trying to make them not work quite as hard. With, without them, it's pretty miserable. Yeah, I definitely understand. Okay, yeah, we'll uh, stay off your port side, and we'll be uh, on your ring 16. Looking forward to tomorrow's forecast was something that we decided that we needed to leave first thing in the morning. Motor vessel Olympia took our picture while we were underway. Thank you so much. So arriving in the Hammond Marina, we are going to go ahead and pump off and take on fuel. We haven't taken on fuel since the end of June. We are in the Erie Canal and this is now the end of September. Very quiet night and a beautiful sunset. We're going to see the weather turn in the morning. The weather is going to come in about 6 30, 7 o'clock with just the winds kicking up. I wake Jim up at 7 o'clock since the boat is now drifting a little bit towards the boat next to us. Our dock was very loose, as loose as a tooth. We only had about two or three fittings on. And you can see how close we are there. Within an hour, we are leaving the dock and Jim has to have both thrusters going toward the dock. He didn't even leave the helm. Usually I pass him the line. I throw the lines up and he is fighting to keep the boat on our dock. That's how bad it was. And we decided to make a run for, run for the river and saying goodbye to Lake Michigan. We have just three miles to go to the, to the river, and you can see that the waves are getting bigger. Jim didn't understand why the, the wind gauge wasn't reading, but the mass is down, and it is blowing about 26 knots right here. It is amazing how fast the weather changed from 6.30 to 7.30, and we are heading for the river. We're almost there. Again, so thankful to have up north, a buddy boat going into the river with us. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch us leave Indiana. We have spent 45 days in the Great Lakes and now we are heading south to the river.